YouTube, oh my god. It's been way too long and it's just... I'm not even going to use excuses because I know that there aren't any. Um, <laughs> this is the thing. I feel like I wanted to come on here and create. Yes, you do see a Christmas tree and it is March. Do not judge me. Let me tell you. Let me unravel my life to you guys and let you guys know what's been going on with me. Everything from start to finish. I'm just going to be real raw with y'all. So obviously you guys know that I was trying to do vlogmas. I was really, really, really excited about it. I just um, wanted to commit to it, but I could not. And I bit off more than I could chew, obviously. I did a pre-vlogmas video, which I'll link down below. I also did two other vlogmas, which I believe was vlog day one, and then also December 2nd, day two. And after that, I was not able to commit like I wanted to. I even actually attempted to film different events that I was going to in the month of December but even those videos did not get the light of day it did not hit the it didn't even get from the SD card onto the computer to even get edited to the life of day so that's just how uncommitted I was and not because I was genuinely trying to like not be committed it was because I had so much going on in the month of December like legit my whole world kind of twist upside down so let me see where can i plant you guys because i was literally cleaning up my apartment like i if you'll find out my life has been in shambles the entire since then like since the whole year started like literally it's now march and i'm still trying to get my bearings like that's how crazy my life is so i'm gonna set you guys maybe right here is this good i feel like my lighting is horrible guys i'm so sorry but i'm in the middle of actually cleaning my apartment um not fine oh here we go my actual rag so my couch is in shambles as you can see i'm actually cleaning uh, my cocktail table right now just dusting it off because i do have a dog and his hair gets everywhere etc so just to like get you guys on the same page as me um i literally in the end of like september I quit my job, but I decided that, you know what, I am going to focus on RGMO, which is obviously this channel. I also have a blog, which is rgmo.com, and I was going to really commit to getting out there, networking with people. I live All right, there we go. I feel like we got some better lighting going on here. So, um, yeah, so just kind of scaling back and I guess backtracking to what I was trying to say, I legit had quit my job in September, my nine to five, you call it. Um, I was a full-time assistant store manager for visuals. My career has been in retail management, visual merchandising. That's kind of been my whole thing and that's what I've been doing for the longest time. And um, I just decided that I wanted to get out of retail. I wanted to pursue my dreams. I wanted to um, really push RG mode into the direction in which I felt like it could go. Um, I wasn't satisfied being here in Austin, so I was like, you know what, what can I do to help my situation that I'm in currently? And I can't harp on the past or, or really like, you know, trying to bring about the future before it's time. Like I was just like, you know, what can I do right now? So. Um, I quit my job and I decided to pursue RG mode. But um, in doing so, I was getting some offers from other companies um, and they just weren't quite fitting what I was looking for. And I was like, if I'm gonna get back into retail or if I'm gonna do a nine to five job, regardless of whatever it is, um, I want for it to fit certain guidelines. Like I had certain criteria that I need a company to fulfill and also things that I just wanted to personally do um, if I was to get back into that. And so there was companies that I thought were cool, but at the end of the day, I was just like, mm, nah sis, I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> then I actually, um, got kind of recruited from a company and um, I ended up in December taking on a job. Now, you'll say, well, why did you do that, Renee? What made you go back and go back into retail and start that all over again when you were trying to pursue a career uh, for yourself and be an entrepreneur and all that stuff? 
well and rg mode is not bringing me in any money like zero dollars i'm talking about like zero like not even just like a little bit chump change like nothing okay so with that being said i was just like mm, you know what i think you need to recircle come back and figure out what it is that you want to do now the company that i did leave i will not badmouth them however it was for a good reason it wasn't just about rg mode it was like i had to leave them i had to let it go and that's totally fine and you go through situations in your life where you feel like you know what this is not for me so let me just you know so with the company that recruited me um, and why i decided to go back into retail and actually get a job and not necessarily focus solely on RG mode um, was because of the position in which I was being recruited for. So it was going to definitely expand my um, my resume and you know it was something that I had never done before but always like did the job title itself. So I'm now like a store manager. I won't say of what company or whatever but being a store manager i kind of if you're in retail you know that that kind of puts you in a more elevated space where you can grow and do different things even if it's not with just that company if it's with someone else or whatever so it just kind of puts you in a space where you can really expand your horizons a little bit if you decide to stick with like corporate retail america all that being said, I decided to go for it because I was like, you know what, this may be a good look. Let me try it out. Let me see. I mean, if I don't like it, I mean, at the end of the day, you have the right to be like, you know what, this actually wasn't for me. Let me whatever. But that being said, and I was like really pushing out videos at the time. So when I ended my job in September and then I started, you know, really creating more content, really putting out more blog posts on my um you know website and everything um, i was actually like kind of going to different events networking with some people not as much as i wanted to but i was really looking into that stuff and i knew that several things were going to be coming up especially this year of 2018 so i wanted to prepare my brand for that and like you know i had all these different ideas of things that i wanted to do so i if you guys are wondering what i'm doing i'm just like setting my cocktail table back up because we tend to move things around when we like eat in here and like watch movies and stuff so i want it to be like back to its cuteness anyway <laughs> so um I was like, where is my stuff so yeah so i just was like you know what i'm i'm being a little stagnant there's no money coming in let me just you know circle back but like i was saying with all of the changes that were going on in my content and my channel actually growing i was so so excited like i may have small numbers i may have small subscribers uh as far as the su subscriber count is concerned but i'm appreciative of all of the people who i do have watching my content i mean i don't get that many clicks honestly my subscription number grew and i knew that was from consistency and that made me feel good because i actually was getting some return and investment of what i was actually doing so that i was like yes this is so cool like i can't wait to continue to grow and keep doing more and like people really still start recognizing me or whatever you know like I haven't done much so I know that when I do apply more and more of my creativity or you know just in general applying my skills or whatever that I felt like wow like this, this could be something right so but then when the job came about I just keep starting over because I'm just like <laughs> trying to explain to y'all why the consistency is black um, I committed to doing the vlogmas and then the job ended up happening for me and then that was like right at the beginning of December so it kind of like just made everything like halt like it was like RG mode no longer <laughs> you have to focus on this new job you got to focus on like learning all these new things you have to do all these different things and it was a little overwhelming not because I had a new job but just because I still really was kind of committed to RG mode and wanting to do all these things so I just felt like oh I'm disappointing you know my subscribers I'm disappointing my family because I know that my family was like a hundred percent behind me to do like this whole thing they were just like you need to do it like now is the time blah 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 like saying all these things these positive motivating supporting things and I was just like wow thank you guys so much you know what you're right blah blah, blah. and like even like my sister is like <laughs> She is literally the bomb, the bomb. I'm you this how old you know I am. Um, she is everything because she was just like, oh, it's these classes you can take and this um, 
I was this opportunity that I could have took but I did not take because one I had started this new job oh, I'm so, sometimes I kind of kick myself but at the same time I don't know everything happens for a reason but anyway I was feeling like overwhelmed with the fact that I couldn't commit fully to vlogmas and doing all these things and that I had planned out because I planned out literally in a calendar like what I was going to do day to day uh, I was planning out like workout regimens which I have still not even committed to a workout regimen which I'm just like what is going on girl I was really down on myself and so it made me not even want to create anything because I just felt like should I just give up altogether like I'm just like what do I do now like I'm in Am I always gonna just be retail nine to five or it's not even nine to five honestly is I'm just calling it nine to five because that means work that means a job like right so um, am I always gonna be in a corporate America style or am I gonna be able to be this creative this person who can just you know really live through what she wants to do and not you know live by someone else's standard of what they need for me to do or you know be on someone's call every second and answering emails and doing all these other things and you know and just all the drama that comes along with you know having a retail job so i just and then i started to drop in subscribers and i was like oh, oh no like people who see your consistency and then all of a sudden you drop off the face of the earth and they're like oh well forget her then she ain't coming back it's been two months okay well delete like you know and it's just like oh no like you know and it makes you feel some kind of way like if you've ever had that experience you ever had that happen to you it makes you feel like damn like i literally need to reevaluate some shit like do i care enough to continue doing this or you know what what is it so there is that so now fast forward to march and i mean i do like my job like i will say that i'm not like oh yeah i'm ready to quit i'm back y'all like no like i literally do like my job i did just actually make a few videos i don't feel like they were my favorite i don't feel like they were the best content i was really honestly trying to forcefully push out some content for my subscribers because i did gain a subscriber and then all of a sudden they scaled back again so i was just like what is going on literally it's like teeter-tottering between you know numbers and i mean it's not all about the numbers it's not all about the subscribers it's not all about like recognition and getting like you know all these likes and all this stuff because honestly my channel doesn't get that type of stuff like I don't I'm not marketed enough to get like all this exposure and stuff but still it makes you feel some kind of way when you realize that there's a decline so I was just trying to like push out all this product I mean product um sell them in retail I was really trying to push out content for my channel and I feel like I just was pushing it out just to push it out and honestly I'm not going to delete it I, I mean everything is a learning experience everything is like out there for a reason and I was talking to my fiance about like my channel in general and I was like I hate some of my old content like even some stuff that I did like maybe even a few months ago and like I was just like man should I delete it and he was like no and I was just like oh I just you know even stuff that I've done years ago I'm just like ooh, like why is this still on my channel like should I delete it and it's like what well, it kind of shows you your progression and where you've come from so I may have content that I'm not super impressed with that's on my channel but honestly it's for me to look back at reflect on and realize like you have room to grow you have uh, ideas and all that stuff and it's just time to like expand and not uh focus on you know all the little crap just like okay you know what you did wrong in that video or you critique yourself enough in this video so let's move forward and like the next one you do all the things that you wanted to do in that last video so that's kind of where i am right now so i am going to try my hardest to create content um, when I have the time to I'm going to not commit to like oh on this channel you'll have videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays like nah sis you probably won't like you probably will get a video a month like who knows like I cannot commit <laughs> to a strict schedule for you guys just because my lifestyle does not permit for me to do that but at the same time what I can do is actually give some energy to this channel to my blog to my outside extracurricular entrepreneurship whatever it is to help grow within my brand so that's what you're gonna get from me another thing kind of talking about commitment but it's not really about commitment more so it's more so about like being i guess it is it's more so about being committed to yourself um 
me and my best friend actually were talking most recently man this year alone about like all these different people who are like starting all these new businesses and then they're being like super successful and being recognized by like major magazines or or like you know they're they're doing all these huge like parties and events and all this stuff and it's just like dang like two seconds ago like you know and i will say this but what i'm gonna what i'm gonna say like i don't want to be judged by because it's like I'm, it seems as if I'm judging them, but everybody, you have that that one thought that goes through your head, like them, like they're they're successful, like mm, like, and I know that that can probably hinder you, and that's probably what hinders people in general because they are looking at other people and seeing all these different things, and it, then they look back at themselves and are like what am I doing? But at the same time, that's also a motivation for yourself. Because if you feel like someone is, not that they're lower than you, because honestly, that like that's horrible to say or to think like, oh yeah, you're lower than me. But if you know your skill set and you know what you can provide and you know that what craft you have can generate money, can generate like customers or whatever it is, and you're not doing anything with that, but then you see somebody else who may not be as creative as you, who may not be as gifted as you, and you see them flourishing, they're just like, their brand is being built and they're like really stacking up on like their investments and like they're doing all these amazing things and you're just like, what the fuck? If I really apply myself, maybe I go farther than them. Like, you know, and so that's kind of the conversation that me and my best friend have really been having now. And it's just like, what are we doing? 2018 needs to be the year, literally is three months in. It just started March. I mean, literally, this is the beginning of the month. Like, what am I doing? Like, right? Like these last two months I've like played in my ass. It's time to get to it. So all about commitment it's all about consistency and that is what i'm trying to do i need to foster good behaviors of commitment <laughs> this year <laughs> so you can expect that from me what i will also say is that if you are a consistent follower on my channel and you literally watch my videos comment on them let me know what you like what you did not like let me know what you like to see i would love to know what you guys want to see like i have in the past created makeup videos but I'm no makeup artist and people continually ask me to do their makeup or something generated with makeup and I feel like I have created a pattern that people think that I'm like super I am into makeup but like I'm not a makeup artist like I cannot like I'm, I'm just not and I won't be out here doing people's makeup like no but when it comes to fashion like that is me you know I can totally help you build an outfit I can totally help you um, look like you know you are a million bucks when you literally spent $25 like that like that's what I can do so if there's any fashion videos you'd like for me to produce please let me know down below I will totally try to get that happening I want to create more lookbooks I know I've talked about this and I know talk is cheap but I really really do I want to create more lookbooks I do create hauls and you guys see where I'm shopping I'm very frugal so I feel like you know if you're a frugal shopper and you need to know where to get stuff for the low but you want to look like you spent a lot <laughs> you can definitely continue to follow my channel because that's what I'm all about like I'm all about a good deal um but yeah, like that's, and I also want to get into more of like the hair care thing. I mean, my hair looks like struggle right now, but don't judge me. I'm telling you, I'm just coming to you real raw, real tired. <laughs> but honestly, like, um, I just want to create some really dope content and I will be having some upcoming events that I'm going to be going to that I want to share with you guys. So stay tuned for those. I will be trying to produce more vlog style videos where I'm either sitting down in front of the camera talking about stuff with you guys and or like shopping, you know, vlogs where I take you with me when I go shopping and like maybe do a mini haul afterwards. I also want to do some vlogging where I go to different events and network with people and you guys get to see that and all those interactions um, and maybe even some like cute little date night stuff with me and Richard um, because we could vlog together as well and I'll probably be like a little series segment playlist situation on my channel because um, we were gonna try to do that for <laughs> vlogmas but it didn't happen um, what else literally that's about it you I probably will slow down on the makeup videos just because that's not my expertise and I feel like I don't have really the best equipment to deliver what my makeup really looks like so when you go on my Instagram and you see it I feel like it looks different than it does on like a video so I don't want for there to be a disconnect because my lighting isn't perfect and the camera that I'm filming on isn't the right type of like 
makeup camera <laughs> you know i really have like a a more so take pictures type of camera that just so happens to film yeah so it's just a lot so let me know down below what you guys are expecting from me what you guys would like to see i already got a hair request from oh, actually a friend um who follows my channel so hey girl hey Brittany. Uh, i will be trying to do that on my channel um but other than that that is basically it i just want to let you guys know what's going on in my life what i am attempting to do and what i will be and the reasons why things weren't as consistent as they should have been but that is really it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and really you know got caught up with all the things that's going on you sip that tea and you know what's going on <laughs> all right guys well thank you guys so much for watching this video stay tuned for the next one like i said it will be a treat see you guys bye so i feel like i showed you guys a little bit of the disaster of my couch but i kind of straighten it up now um, i'm not sure if i showed you guys what my apartment looks like after um the whole fall series of everything um i did like do i think i did like a christmas edition but i'm not even sure if that even made it to my channel seeing as how all the vlogs didn't but this is like basically what my couch is looking like and then this is what i was trying to like clean up um i just have like these really cool bar cart coffee table books here that I was stacking up and I have this like vintage camera that we got from a thrift store actually for like five bucks or something um and then my little tray super cute but yeah that is the living room finally straightened a little bit with the light shining in <laughs> But yeah, I mean, one day I'll give you guys like another apartment tour because there is like chaos going on. And then of course the Christmas tree, like what, <laughs> what is going on? Anyway, yeah guys, just thought I'd share. Peace out.